In our latest video, Alex travels up a Welsh mountain in an attempt to catch wild carp, and I head over to the River Wye in search of barbel with Omi and my best friend Ryan. We have got a carp. That was cool. That's bigger than the other one. It was around eight years ago when I first got the chance to fish the River Wye. It's a wild, changeable watercourse which is home to a range of fish species. The barbel has always been a fish that I've loved to target, probably because they were such a challenge for me back when I could only fish the small river near our home. I used to ride my bike down there and try for days at a time, normally leaving without a bite, but occasionally getting the chance to hold one of those rare barbel. Visiting the River Wye through my teenage years was very productive and enabled me to catch barbel consistently and learn more about them. Fast forward to last year and my partner Omi asked if we could try and catch a barbel. Of course, there was only one place I had in mind, the River Wye. After a long drive, we arrived at our cottage. This was going to be our home for the week. From on top of the bridge, we spotted a few chub. These were going to be our first target before looking for barbel later in the trip when my friend Ryan arrived. The chub bread. Chub bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With our shopping done for the week, stocking up on food for us, but also bread for the fish, we returned to our cottage. In the morning, my thoughts turned to those chub, so I grabbed the bread and walked down to see if they would eat. I stood for a while, feeding little and often, creating a stream of bread flakes. Eventually, the fish began to investigate. We decided to start by rolling a piece of spam through the swim, with a shot pinched on the line to weigh it down. It took some patience and getting used to feeling for bites, but Omi did hook one in the end. <laughs> you got a charm on. <laughs> That's bigger than the other one. <laughs> First river wide fish for Omi. I had a chub earlier, slightly smaller than that one though. There you go, got the hook out. <laughs> After that chub, we decided to go for it, throw out the bread that we crammed into our pockets and try for one on the surface. <gasps> yeah, oh, they're coming up, they're coming up. So keep paying offline, but be ready when it takes it. Close that, close the bail arm, and reel and pull. Okay? <gasps> they're coming up. They're coming up. He's got it. Yes! <laughs> we are catching chub off the surface on our first day on the River Y. This is how I like my river fishing. Thank you, Carl. That's right. Oh that's God. that's bigger than the other ones, isn't it? Yeah, he's I think so. Good work on <sighs> uh, chub on meat and on bread now. <sighs> on Pretty bread. good. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Three. My friend Ryan was due to arrive that evening, but I'm sure you're probably wondering where Alex was at this point. Well, he'd met up with his friend Stu and together they were tracking down some carp. Carp which happened to live up a mountain. Welcome back. This time around I'm stood some 1400 feet on top of a Welsh mountain and today's target species are wild carp. 
Now wild carp are pretty rare in the UK and you can only find them in a few lakes and this lake behind me is one of them. I'm here with my friend Stu and today I'm going to try and catch some carp on top of this Welsh mountain. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're in, we're in. Oh my goodness. Stu, I've got one. Yes. There we go, we got one. It's a small one, but my first wild carp. And I'm really pleased to have caught my first wild carp from this lake. But annoyingly, the weather conditions aren't exactly ideal. I would love to carry on freelining or float fishing, but it just really isn't that easy with the wind coming down. It just moves the bait and yeah, that's not really a, a very effective way to do it. So I decided to switch things up a bit. I have grabbed a tiny one ounce, 1.1 ounce inline lead, and then a supple braided hook link, size 10 hook. And uh, I'm gonna drop that down in the spots where I'm seeing them stirring up and yeah, give that a go. That was unexpected. We just sat down to have a tea break. I was planning on putting this rod out as a sleeper rod so I could have a sleep myself. And before I managed to get to sleep, this rod's gone. It feels bigger than my other one. Excellent. Yay. Perfect, just what we needed. There it is, another wild carp. This one's a little bit bigger than the other one. But yeah, they're such long lean fish and incredibly hard fighting. What do you reckon the uh, game plan is then for the rest of the day? Sleep. <laughs> okay. Drink tea and sleep. The tea break was of course interrupted by a carp for Stu, and soon after, as a result of finding some fish further down the bank, Alex had one last bite too. As the hours passed and the light levels dropped, Alex and Stu relaxed in their peaceful surroundings. Back over on the river, Ryan had arrived, and it was time for our first evening of barbel fishing. Oh my god. It didn't take too long for Ryan to get the first bite. Did you get a bite? And it's hooked up. Ryan's first fish of the River Wye holiday. It's a chub, but it's a good start. It's definitely my biggest chub for like <laughs> five years. <laughs> so this is the first evening down on the river. Ryan's had a ho hockey tournament today, so he's pretty knackered by the sound of things. <laughs> but it's good to uh, be down by the river, get the rods out and getting some chub. Oh, oh. That's on. Well, I think that's a wrap for our first evening down the river. <laughs> Managed to catch two chub. I didn't get anything, but I enjoyed a bit of rolling meat this morning and uh, getting a few chub off the surface with Omi as well. So that was good fun, but I'm gonna call it a day now. Tomorrow we'll give it another try. The next day, Alex and Stu had travelled to another part of Wales. They'd found a fly-only trout fishing lake, which seemed to have a few carp in it too. Ooh, that was close. It took quite a lot of work, constantly moving around, trying to find the carp. Eventually, Stu hooked one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Double. Whoa, yeah. Didn't just get one carp, two at a time. As well as the fly fishing lake, Alex had one last venue to try before he came over to join us on the river. It was an old disused quarry with an unknown stock. Stu and Alex walked to the lake and began trying to catch these characterful carp with simple free lined bread crust. We've 
got one, mate. It's an absolute corker. Stu caught a couple of mirrors, both looking very different from one another, before Alex followed them up with an absolutely ridiculous koi. Certainly not what they expected to live in this wild lake. As Alex was finishing off his session at the quarry, I was just heading down to the river for another attempt at catching a barbel. Omi joined me and for two or three hours we sat biteless. It was peaceful, but the fishing just a little too quiet for my liking. Just before dark, I packed up. The comfort of the cottage was too tempting, especially whilst the fish just weren't interested in feeding. Omi enjoys a spot of bird watching and I just love being outdoors, so the next day we decided to go and explore the local area. Our riverside cottage provided the perfect base to then head off for adventures, including one to the north of Wales. Back at the river, my mind had turned to the barbel again. How was I to maximise my chances when the fishing was so hard? I decided to head further afield and do some pre-baiting. Trying to go and bait up down there, yeah. My goodness, I feel so lucky to be walking down to the river through this garden. Oh, wow. Can I borrow the spawn? Anyway, good luck, guys. Toodaloo. Now I've got my bait and I've got my spawn rod. Spawn isn't exactly something that you see a lot of people using on the rivers. It tends to be utilised by carp anglers. But because I want to fish the far margin of this quite wide river, it's rather hard to get bait out there, uh, just throwing it. I could ball it up into balls with ground bait and lob it, but I'd probably break my arm trying to throw it as far as this, so I'm only going to use the spawn to deposit some bait in the swim which I want to fish this evening. The only disappointing and slightly frustrating thing is it's as far as the eye can see in that direction. So we've got a walk on our hands, but I'm hoping it'll be worthwhile. Whoa, that was close. It's been a hard week, it's been really tough, but you just gotta keep trying. And I think trickling the bait in will get some fish feeding, whether they're chub or barbel, we can only find out. In the past, I'd normally fish my weight running on the line, but this session I chose to use some micro lead clips. These were still free running, allowing good bite indication. But should I change swims, need to cast further, or if the river levels changed, I could quickly switch to a different size of weight. That landed so close to the big overhanging tree on the far side. I feel really confident in that rod. Just gonna get the other one out now. That's on. That's a donkey, mate. Looks like he's had a bit of a predatory incident. His dorsal's been bitten off. It's quite a nice chub though. Once again, the barbel remained elusive. I did, however, get the opportunity to see otters and deer getting amazing sightings of both species. It's another evening without the elusive barbel. It's getting quite frustrating, if I'm honest. Um, every time we've come here, we've caught them, apart from this time. The next day I was back down the river early, hooking into two fish, which both pulled hard and had me thinking that they could be barbel. I 
I was catching a fair few chub from this swim, my net making the ground a little bit slippery. It's getting a bit slippery. That's definitely the biggest chub of the trip. Look at that. Magnificent River Y chub. It was so nice to spend some chilled time with my friend Ryan and his partner Laura. Ryan's loving life. Well, what do you know, we found some fish. Of course, myself and Omi managed to find fish pretty much everywhere we went but the ones that we'd actually traveled to the Y for, the barbel, were still not showing up. We're gonna give it another go. What is it, the fourth evening? Fourth night running. Fourth night that we're gonna give it another good try. We're gonna drive to a different stretch then today. Try somewhere else. This is straight, this isn't. Oh, flipping it. There's a mighty fine bit of parking if I do say so myself. Don't know how I'm gonna get out of it. There we go, easy. And I can even spot the barbel from up here. Can you see him? Yeah. He's got very good eyesight. They're on the far mark. I can't even see the river. Despite our lifted spirits trying a new stretch, we still failed to catch a barbel. The low clear water and very hot conditions seem to be making this barbel fishing impossible. It's right near the end of the week. Omi is writing in the, um, what is it? Guest, guest book. Slash, slash catch report. Omi is writing our catch report and currently it says <laughs> lots of chub, but yep. no barbel. No barbel yet. But we will get one. Eventually. Um, We're gonna keep trying. Yes. We only have <laughs> we only really have today and very early tomorrow morning left. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna get some more advice and go just keep trying. It was the last day of our holiday. Alex had gone home and Ryan had to leave unexpectedly too. Now poor Ryan's not been too well towards the end of the week, got some dodgy chicken at Weatherspoons. Did it end well? <laughs> anyway man, it was yeah. a good time. Sadly, yeah. no barbel, yes, but... you're gonna go get some now. See ya, man. Safe journey. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. So that's it. Ryan's heading home. I've got this evening. I've got this evening to make it count. I'm gonna go into town, have a word with the, the guy in the tackle shop, Woody. He helped us out a few years ago, and hopefully he'll be able to help us out again. It's been a really tough week on the barbel front, but one last push. I readied my gear and visited Woody's Angling Centre to be met with a very warm welcome. How are you, sir? Hello, Woody. This man has no end of knowledge for the fishing on the River Wye, and he explained that due to the low water levels and very hot conditions, pretty much everyone was finding the fishing very, very difficult. He did, however, know of a Hereford Angling Club stretch, which could be worth a try. Now I had my day ticket and some bait, but very little time left, so travelled straight to the new stretch. Woody had done us proud. The stretch looked amazing and there were chub drifting around the weed beds. I set up with a pepper army hook bait and planned to fish that over some hemp seed. The first step though was to help Omi with her casting. I'm gonna go again. Oh, no how to cast with Omi. <laughs> Don't forget the bail on, Bella. step one. Oh, wow. Spot on. Yeah. Should I do the other one? Mm, I'll, do the other. I'll do the other one. <laughs> you managed to cast it in the water. Good work. 
<laughs> yeah, not in a tree this time. <laughs> yeah, now, now that you've cast 20 times in my swimming in a lob rocks in it and scared the fish away even more. Oh, it's a nice job. Yeah, it's really filling. Uh, Trying to net it on her own. Go on. Yes. <laughs> oh. Didn't want a photo of that anyway. Yeah. You're after a barbel. I've got a photo. To pass the time waiting for the bigger fish, I set Omi up with a float rod. I did insist that she touch the bait herself though. <laughs> but Omi, I got you pastel colour maggots. <laughs> I thought you liked pastel colours. <laughs> You did it, and you hooked it perfectly as well. That's actually how you're supposed to do it through the end. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a bit better. Monty, yeah, real big. And... <laughs> Compared to what we just had. That is a big minnow. They were like the ones you were getting in the itching actually. You were getting big ones. Yeah. Bye specimen minnow. <laughs> These minnows and chub were very obliging and I'd almost forgotten about the barbel rods. Is it a barbel? Is it? No. It's a barbel. It's a barbel. No. Well, it's only taken six days. <laughs> yeah. Do the netting? Yeah. Can you imagine if it got Yeah, away? oh, so close. Stood here in the middle of the, well, in the margins of the River Y. Rod bent absolutely double into a River Y barbel. <laughs> this is what we came here to try and catch. And we spent a few days really struggling. Yeah. But finally, finally I've got one on the end. Oh my God, it look at it. Oh. Give up. They are so strong. Oh, oh that's like a good shot. <gasps> Ready? Oh, you've done it. Yeah. We need to scoop him up on. Yes! We've got him. I remember the first barbel I ever caught took me a couple of years to catch. This hasn't taken quite so long. Yes. But it's just as memorable yes. because um, I told Omi at the beginning of this trip that I'd show her what a barbel looks like. And I thought for a few days that I wasn't going to manage that. <laughs> but we've done it. We've got one in the net. Oh, you got one. Oh, that's a barbel on me. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> now that is a relief. <laughs> Finally, I'd caught what we'd travelled to the River Wye for, a mega long golden barbel. I hadn't anticipated another bite almost straight away. Oh, that was good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. You got it? Yes, it's, it's got in some weeds. Keep walking down, hopefully it will come out of the weeds. Do you think it's pulling? I think it is. Let's just keep walking down river a little bit because you can pull them out of weeds by pulling them down river easier than you can pull them up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out. Oh no! You gone? Oh no! He's there! He's there! He's there! He's there! Oh no! Yes! Yes! yes. Is he still there? <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> keep your rod up high and keep it really nice and bent at all times. Like that. Yeah, that's it. Oh, he's a, yeah, he's a barbel. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, finally, we've got what we've come to the Y for, and that is a barbel each. It's the last day of our holiday, and finally I can rest. We've done it. Well done. That is what we wanted. They are beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful, incredible creatures. We did it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Goodbye, Barbel. Goodbye, Riverwai. It's time to head home. So good. <laughs> <laughs>